Hey guys, so if you're watching this video, then I'm really sorry. That means that you probably have bed bugs and you probably can't afford an exterminator. And so the reason I'm making this video is to tell you that it's okay, there is hope. Um, you can do this on your own because most of the videos that you're gonna find on YouTube are going to tell you to call an exterminator because they're made by pest control companies. So yeah, this is kind of a summary of some of the best things that I've found. Hopefully it helps you a little bit. Let's get to it. Okay, so I want to start by saying that there is a guy who runs a really, really awesome channel, and his channel is Joel Z. Williams, and he does not ever recommend getting a PCO or anything like that. He has some really inventive strategies for how to conquer bed bugs, and um, some of these strategies are probably going to be mentioned in the video. But if you want like a more thorough approach, like I feel like he's like the bed bug professor. Like sometimes I feel like like he's like lecturing on bed bugs or something. And so um, yeah, that's a really good channel to check out is Joel Z. Williams. Okay, so let's talk pesticide. I'm talking the over-the-counter stuff that you can get. Stuff like Hot Shot. This is, this is a pretty well-known brand. Or Ortho, Home Defense. You can find this at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever. Um, so you probably have heard a lot about whether they do work or they don't work. And so I'm just going to show you what I've found. Focus in here. It's not even working, bro. <clears throat> Yo, I sprayed him like 10 times before, there's no lie. Okay, so that was a video that was uploaded by a YouTuber named Daft Phoenix. Thank you very much, Daft Phoenix. Um, it doesn't really look like it works. He sprayed the bed bug like 10 times and it was still moving. So they claim that they kill on contact. That didn't really look like a contact kill for me. But well, let's see what somebody else had to say. It's a nice liberal coating. We'll give some time for that to dry and then we'll be placing the bed bug in there. Okay, so I can kind of summarize what happens. So Rove Pest Control uploaded a video where they sprayed some hot shot into a container that the bed bug couldn't get out of and it took something like eight days for it to die. We know that bed bugs can go up to a year without a blood meal, so it wasn't that it like died of starvation or something. We do know that it was some sort of residual effect from the pesticide. We also know that this is an extremely confined space as opposed to like say like a bedroom. So what are our key takeaways from this? One, they don't work that well, but they do something. So they're, I, in my opinion, they're better than nothing. If that's all you can get your hands on, then I would recommend applying it everywhere and applying it daily, doing it every single day, it's because they do something. But more importantly, it couldn't get out of a sandwich container. Now that's interesting. And if they can't get out of it, can they really get into it? I'll just give you the answer to this one. They can't. They have little hooks in their feet and plastic is too smooth, but especially packaging tape. So apparently they've got these hooks on the ends of their legs. So when you have poor surfaces like wood, um, they can climb that up easily. But kind of like glass, I think um, clear tape is just a lot smoother and it's not porous. So that was a video uploaded by Hybrid Pete. Thank you, Hybrid Pete. Uh, there are a few other videos like it showing that clear packaging tape is something that they just can't get up from. And especially if you apply like baby powder with talc to it. So if you wrap packaging tape around the legs of your bed or around the legs of other furniture, they can't really get up that. So there's this lovely video here by the University of Florida teaching you how to make homemade bed bug interceptors. Where you would normally buy them, you can actually use um, packaging tape 
talc powder, a paintbrush, masking tape, and you can make your own bed bug interceptors and you can just put them underneath the legs of your bed. So that's a really good strategy in my opinion. But they can still crawl up the walls and crawl up the ceiling and then drop down from the ceiling to get to your body. So it's definitely really helpful and I would advise that you do it, but it's not a catch-all solution. Also, some of you guys might not have bed frames. Like, I used to just sleep on the box spring and the mattress. Okay, for real, that's, that's gonna be a problem. So you're gonna wanna get some risers and some packaging tape and some bigger containers, if that's you. If your bed doesn't have legs, you're gonna have to make legs, cause, cause that's a thing. All right, now let's talk about that problem where the bed bugs will crawl up the walls and on the ceiling and all that. So there's this product that you may have heard of called Diatomaceous Earth, or DE, that's supposed to dry out the exoskeleton of the bed bug. I'ma just be real, you can make your room look like Christmas in Ohio with that stuff. It doesn't really work. Y'all for real? This is the stuff. This is what you want. But it killed 97.5% of them within 24 to 48 hours. Most of them within the 24 uh, uh, hour time range. Now, that's compared to DE, diatomaceous earth, applied the same way, killed only about 10%. So you can see the added benefit of this. Now, um, one thing that I want you to understand is that bed bugs are now building up a tolerance to insecticides. Okay, so that was Joel Z. Williams. I mentioned him a little bit earlier in the video. And he was talking about Semexa. See what I mean? He kind of he kind of sounds like a professor. Okay, so the way you use it is you take a paintbrush and you put it inside the little powder container that they gave you. And you just beat the devil out of it. And then you're going to want to apply it to the perimeter of the room. A few other places too. The container is going to tell you where else to apply it. You want to have a very light dusting. Maybe a little more than that though, but you don't want it to be super visible because if you can see it, the bed bugs can see it too, and they're going to try and avoid it. I used to have an art teacher who used to say, just a little dabble do ya. She was talking about glue, but it applies here too. Just a little bit of Semexa will kill the bed bug. Okay, so I didn't really mention this before, but this is, this is kind of a given. You really do need to wash basically all the fabric in your bedroom. And once you wash it, you need to leave it out of the bedroom. So put it in the garage. If you don't have a garage, then leave it in the car. If you don't have a garage or a car, um, you, you're going to have to make a friend. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tell them that your laundry is already washed, but you do not want to keep putting fabric back into the bedroom until your problem is solved. Did I mention high heat? Dry it on high heat. Maybe dry it twice on high heat. Um, that's also, that's a given. Okay, so as far as actual pesticides go, as we heard from Joel Z. Williams, most bed bugs are developing a tolerance to pesticides. Um, and we saw a little bit earlier in the video that a lot of the over-counter products are somewhat but more minimally effective. But there is one that I want to bring your attention to, and that's called Crossfire. And so Crossfire has really, really good reviews. Um, apparently it won't ship to the state of New York. Um, there might be some ways around that though, or um, New Yorkers, you might have a friend in Connecticut or New Jersey, just saying. Um, but yeah, it, it's supposed to be really, really effective both as a contact killer and as a residual killer. And it looks like it can be applied like directly to a mattress. I haven't actually had an infestation get bad enough that Semexa didn't take care of the problem. Knock on wood. So I've never used it, but I've heard it's a really, really good pesticide. It's about $50. Okay, let's review, shall we? Step one, get all the fabric out of the room wash it and dry it on high heat. If you don't have laundry facilities in your building, then you're gonna have to go to the laundromat for this. Step one is unavoidable, no matter how much you don't wanna do it. You 
have to do it. Step two is debatable. Um, if you have an over-the-counter pesticide, please apply it to everywhere in the room that you would wish to apply it. That would include the perimeters of the room, in some cases the mattress or the box spring. Step three, make your homemade interceptor traps and put them under the legs of your bed. Step four, apply Semexa everywhere that Semexa directs you to apply it. Step five, if Semexa does not work, Apply Crossfire everywhere that the Crossfire label tells you to apply it. Step 6. If and only if you do not get any more bed bug bites for a long time, then you can reintroduce your wardrobe back into the bedroom. I just want to end by saying there is hope for you. You can do this. You can do this. Plenty of people have done it before you. Plenty of people will tell you that you can't but you just have to be vigilant, you just have to be patient, and you just have to accept your situation that you are currently in war, and this is a war that you can win. I wish you the best of luck.